Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. We are here in glorious Paris. Uh, we're standing on a bridge of lovers. This is a bridge where people come to declare their love for each other. So I'm definitely going to come back here with a padlock. You signify it by locking a lock. I'm going to come back and put one with me uh, and Chelsea. Definitely going to do that tomorrow. Um, just to give you an insight here, there's one here, there's a message here that says, Dave loves Gemma forever, can't wait to marry you. There's another one that says, Nathan loves Emma forever. Um, there's loads going on. Oh, Steve and Emily, uh, it really is a wonderful place to be. And we're over the Seine and the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, it really is exciting. Uh, this is the third time we've been to Paris. We've been here, uh, yeah, I've made it a hat trick of uh, Paris trips now. Uh, came the first year and we lost 3-1. It was a really bad game here. But when we went back to London, we, uh, we went through. Last year, conversely, we got a good one-all draw. We were really happy with the result, and then we went out. Uh, then we went out uh, when we got back to London. So we know that this is going to be such a tough fixture. Um, you know, I, I love coming here. I think it's a fantastically intense atmosphere in the stadium. It's a beautiful city. There's all to play for. This is it for Chelsea now. You know, we've got this in the FA Cup to play for. We're not going to make top four. We're not going to go down. This is it. We're so unlucky to be here. These are a fantastic team, we know that. They are electric. Going forward, they have so many options and it's a problem. It's something that we need to consider. We're so unlucky. We did so well to finish top of our group. You know, we, we, uh, we finished top of a group that wasn't particularly blessed, but we had Porto, Kiev, Tel Aviv, and we finished top. And how unlucky are we that we get the team that finished second in the group with PSG and Barca. Real shame. Um, I suppose on the plus side, we're not playing Barcelona because that group could have gone either way, in my opinion. I think Paris really are that strong, um, as te testified by their league form. They are looking incredible in the league. I think they've set a new record. I think it's 34 games unbeaten in the league. They drew the other day, though, so there is a chink, of, uh, a chink in the armour, a little bit of silver lining. They drew the other day. They got a draw against Lille, but they had rested a lot of players. Obviously, with this game in mind, um, they rested a few players and Lille got a credible draw. I think it's important to remember that we are unbeaten. This, you know, we're the team that finished off of our group. We're the team we've won this competition before. We are the champions of England. So we have to go into that game with a bit of confidence. We haven't lost under Hiddink. We had a marvellous result the other day. Scoring five goals against anyone is impressive. Uh, doing it against Newcastle is, is you know, it's worthy of mention. Uh, the only thing that I'm worried about is John Terry. I'm, I'm really optimistic that it will be fit. I think Laurent Blanc came out in his presser and said how much of a great player he is and how brilliant it will be for them if he's not available. They are lining up, they are practising, they are training for this game as if Terry's fit. That's how much of, a, of an emphasis they put on his appearance. But, you know, if Terry's not fit, it means that we jig around at the back a bit. Esper Lequeta goes what, uh, wide the other side, Baba Rahman will come in. And we do have options. And I think Gary, Gary Cahill played very well the other day. So if Cahill can keep that form going, I think we have a chance. We obviously have to keep Zlatan Ibrahimovic quiet. Uh, it's an easier said than done. You know, he's a very good player. And I think he'll have a point to prove against us because last year he nearly cost his team. He got sent off. You know, it's a reckless challenge. And he nearly cost his team. His team shone. You know, I think Chelsea went out of the Champions League last year with a whimper. So it's important that we don't do that again, but I just think we have to get our team lined up right. So part two of this preview will be me taking you through the team that I think we need to pick. And I think that it's imperative that we win the midfield. I think that's where this game will be won or lost. Um, but I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really confident. I think we can do it. And one of the main reasons I think we can do it is because in our lineup, we are going to have Diego Costa. He has been incredible of late. He's been playing with fire in his belly. He's really up for it. He's been dragging the team by the scruff of their neck. Think of that game against Everton. You know, we were 2-0 down, we were out of it. He took the team and uh, got us a credible 3 all draw. Last minute against Manchester United, that game against Arsenal, we led the line like a beast. Paris Saint-Germain will not be up for facing him. So, I think we can do it. All we have to do is pick the correct team. So join me for part two and make sure that you comment below. Do you believe? Do you think we can do it? Here from glorious Paris. Come on you blues.